Hey, Brian here with WorstTutorials.com. This is a tutorial for the song Living Hope by Phil Wickham and Brian Johnson. Teach it to you on acoustic guitar. I'm gonna teach you the arrangement that I heard uh, first, which is the one that Phil Wickham released. I really like this song a lot. So on that, uh, on that single that he released, he did it in the key of E flat. Uh, you know, and, and Phil Wickham sings pretty high, so uh, I just took it down a half step and I'm playing this song in open D. If you wanna play along with uh, the recorded version that Phil Wickham has, you can put a capo on the first fret, play in the key of D and you'll be in E flat, same key as the album. But for this tutorial and for my acoustic playthrough video, I did it in the key of D. I feel like that's gonna work for most people, uh, for most male vocalists. If you go to worshiptutorials.com, uh, there's a link below here on YouTube. You can see my acoustic playthrough video of this. If we, uh, if I make like a bigger sort of a, a version of this song, a uh, music video kind of a thing, it will be there as well. I will link to where you can get some chord charts, although I will say, I, I found the charts at the uh, Essential Music, which is the publisher at their website, and some of them didn't match the, the song, at least the Phil Wickham version. So the chords that I'm gonna teach you in this, uh, in this tutorial match the, the song that Phil Wickham released. But I'll link to where you can get those, and they're free to download in every key, uh, and then you can compare it to this tutorial and make the edit where you need to if, if the chords are a little different. The chords we're gonna use in this song are D, G, B minor, which I play like this, uh, and A, which I play like this, it's kind of an A suspended. You can play this A or you can play this A. Either one. Uh, I like playing it like this just because these two fingers never really move. Well, they do there. But once you go to G, B minor, and A, they never move. Uh, and then there's a D over F sharp. Just really easy, you play the D, you wrap your thumb over and uh, fret the low E string on the second fret. That's an F sharp. The strumming pattern for this song is a pretty basic 4-4 pattern. Song is at 72 BPM, so it's pretty slow. Uh, and you can just kind of do this. Okay? Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, one, two, three, four, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Uh, like always, dynamics are extremely important, especially on a slow, kind of a longer, slow song like this. So uh, in the beginning, don't strum much. Like that could be your intro. And same for the verse, you know. How great the chasm that lay between us. You could just strum it once and go. Uh, okay, so let's talk about the intro. Uh, it just goes D for a measure, G for a measure. To G, G, two, three, four. Do it twice. And let's go right into the verse. It wasn't much to the intro. So it's how great the chasm, D, that lay between us, A, how high the G, mountain, to B minor, I could not climb, A, back to D. In desperation, I turned to heaven, A, and spoke your name, G, into A, the night, D. Then it goes to a pre-chorus. Let's just do the pre-chorus and, er, and the verse together. Then through the G, darkness, your loving kindness, D. Tore through the B minor shadows of my soul, A. The work is D finished. The end is A written. Jesus Christ, G. My A, living D, hope. And at the end of the first pre-chorus, it actually goes back to another verse. And to turn that around, the turnaround section would be a D. My living hope, D. To G. Then verse two, who could imagine? Okay, so I'm gonna play the intro, sing the verse and the pre-chorus together, show you how it fits. So intro again is just D to G. Let's just do it once, go right into the verse. How great the chasm that lay between us. How high the mountain I 
could not climb In desperation I turned to heaven And spoke your name into the night Right into the pre-chorus Then through the darkness Your loving kindness Tore through the shadows of my soul Stand that B minor the whole time The work is finished The end is written Jesus Christ, my living hope Into the first pre-chorus, go D to G Right into verse 2 Who could imagine so great a mercy Okay, so uh, pre-chorus, or sorry, verse 2 Pre-chorus 2 goes exactly the same. At the end of pre-chorus 2, we're going to jump straight into the chorus. Uh, so you play at the end of the pre-chorus, you land on a D. Jesus Christ, my A, living hope. Then the chorus, hallelujah. Praise the A, one who set me, B minor free. Hallelujah, G to D. Death has A, lost its grip on me, B minor. You have G, broken every D chain. There's salvation, A, in your B minor name. Jesus Christ is G, my A, living hope. Uh, now, in my acoustic version, I, I stopped there and went into the third uh, verse, which is kind of a down verse. On the, the recorded version that Phil Wickham released, uh, it, go, it does that chorus twice. So it would just go right back into the chorus again. And then when you hit the end of that repeated chorus, or if you just want to do it once, my living hope D, hit it big and let it ring. And then you go into verse three. So what I'll do to show you how you navigate between these sections is I'll play the end of the second pre-chorus, go into the chorus. I'm just going to do it once this time. And then I will end that chorus and go into verse three to show you how that works. And I'll kind of walk you through it. Okay, so starting at the end of the second pre-chorus, Jesus Christ, my living hope. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Here comes the chorus. For an extra measure, then you go back into uh, verse three. Then came the morning, seal the promise. Okay, so uh, you do that verse. You actually there is no pre-chorus three, uh, so it just does the verse and it repeats twice. Okay, so you play it once, sort of quiet, and then you play it and build. And so uh, I'll just show you how I build that and then there's a tag so we're going verse three i'm going to kind of half sing it half walk through it it goes like this then came the morning so you're building that sealed the promise your buried body began to breathe out of the silence the roaring lion declared the grave has no claim on here's the tag it goes b minor b to d over f sharp jesus yours is the victory so i'll walk through that tag one more time declared the g grave has no a claim on me b minor to d over f sharp jesus g yours is the victory Stay on D for one extra measure. Hallelujah. Then you're back into choruses. This is probably the highest part. If you sing it with this melody, this, and you do the same tag at the end, the same melody, it's the highest part of the song. So, uh, Jesus, yours is the victory. 
So practice that part. If, if it's too high and you want to stay in this key, you can sing it like this. Jesus, yours is the victory. So you don't have to go victory, you can give victory if you want to. It's sort of an alternate melody, and you can do the same thing at the end of the song. Okay, so uh, for this tutorial, I'll sing a lower part just to show you how that would how that would go. Okay, out of the silence, the roaring lion. That's awesome language, by the way. Out of the silence, the roaring lion declared the grave has no claim on me. Here's the tag. So you do the chorus twice. On the second time through the chorus, you tag the last line. Uh, you actually tag it, there's th three tags if you wanna think of it that way. The last tag is uh, different lyrics. I'll walk you through it, it goes like this. Jesus Christ, my living hope is where you would, would be at the end of the song. It's G, Jesus Christ, my A, living hope, B minor. It's the same as the other tag to D over F sharp, Jesus Christ, G, my A, living hope, B minor. To D over F sharp, God, you are G, my A, living D, hope. Okay, so I'll sing that part and uh, we'll see if I go high or stay low. I don't know. My voice is a little tired right now, so maybe I'll stay low. And it goes like this. Uh, I'll just start on You've Broken Every Chain. So we're at the very end of the song. We're going to tag the outro and then end it. You have broken every chain. on hope uh, and just let it let it ring out that is living hope by Phil Wickham Brian Johnson of uh, Brian Johnson of Bethel music uh, they co-wrote this song together I really really like this song my church is not currently doing it I'm gonna make a pitch to Fuller for us to start doing this song because I think it's really good uh, if you have any questions let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching uh, remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we upload stuff like this all the time see you in the next video bye